Hey my mortal nerds, finally we got new stuff to play around, 6 new essences, some skill adjustments and new build possibilities. In one of my last videos I tried to guess what comes next. And well, man I was very very far away. Well it is, and another wrath mode. But will this change the current meta and will we have a new PvP standard? Well, some smaller tweaks might surprise you. Let's check it out together. So let's dive into the patch notes for our Barbarian. We have some basic Barbarian skills that were adjusted, some already existing items were modified and we have six new essences. That's a lot of stuff carrying a lot of skills. So let's go through it step by step and skill per skill. We start with the leap. Leap is a very important skill for us, of course. It was boosted a lot in the latest patches. And now we receive a new essence, the Cliff Divers. It gives us another 10% additional crit chance per usage of the leap for three seconds. This is really cool because now we have a boost for our tank builds, our dot builds that always lacked a bit of a damage and a crit chance here. And it can be used for PvE and for PvP as well. It's a very good basic advancement, advancement of existing builds. Going over to the Demoralize. For Demoralize it was the latest meta to have um, the Heartless Terror as a helmet. Gives you a lot of immunity to all the CC stun and nearly every loss of control. So now we receive a new essence here, the pot metal. It gives us a big shield with CC immunity. So it looks like a car's defiance just on the helmet essence. What it does is it blocks our undying rage slot and of course our full loss of control immunity slot. So we have to see how that will work out. How big is that shield actually? And how long is the duration? How long is the cooldown of the skills? Is there an additional damage included into that? Or is it just the shield and that's it? So we need to see. I think this will benefit a lot the tank builds because it opens a slot for the leap where we before had the cast defiance and we were with the, with the wrath shield kind of bound. We, we did not have any CC. We can now use the demoralized shield and can go into the shocking chaos uh, for the leap as a CC. Next. And this is, I think, the biggest change here. We have a flat 20% damage boost for our whirlwind. So for everything we do with the whirlwind and for the most used essences, the bitter wind for example, we get those 20% damage improvement. They really try to force us into that skill. I honestly do not know why, but I can guess that it is kind of a unique selling point of the barbarian because no one other walls like the barbarian. It's kind of his signature move and they want to, to push it even f further. So we receive two essences for the wall here. We start with a fellow friend. It is, yeah, it is an endless wall. What you have is here, you switch the energy normally used for the whirlwind and go into an HP drain. I don't know how big that is, we will see, but in the end it will allow you to continuously use the whirlwind. That is especially good for PvE, for um, many modes like in when you want to beat a boss, you want to go through a dungeon really quick. You have the endless game mode with, where you need to wall permanently. And this essence will help you with that a lot. You need to see if they build anything around it with the range or something. Let's see how that works. But it is, works pretty good in combination with another new essence we will see later on the Berserk. So I guess this is really for PvE mostly. For PvP I don't see the usage here because it doesn't give you an improvement like additional damage, like an additional range and pull or something. Um, and for the PvP you can use your wall dedicated for your needs so you don't have to go like permanently roll around like crazy. Anyway you earn CC most of the time. <laughs> so question is can it be used together with a bitter wind? That would be 
very awesome. The text reads like a no, but let's see and hopefully it works together with it. Another essence we got is the Indignant Survivor. It gives you on the chest piece here another up to 80% crit chance. So it's a stacking one for every hit or every, every damage you take you get another 3% stacking up to 6 times. So you can push the wall into a really hurting skill. Together with the leap we saw before, you get 10% crit. Here you get 80% crit. Now you can combine it with the Angmans more easily. You can deliver dots that crits better. You can go with uh, boost the banquet crit even more or the gloom crit. You get a good amount of damage with all of those mini hits from the whirlwind to the enemy. And this might be the chance for it to be worth of playing in PvP. We have to test it out, definitely, but there is a chance. On the negative side, you will use your chest slot for the gathering. So no CC, no, no disruption here from you anymore if you want to go for that crit chance. Lastly, the Wrath of the Berserker changes. Here we have a basic change that reduces the cooldown time from 30 to 25 seconds overall. We will look into that later on. Let's start with the first essence. It's the Roar of the Persuasion. Um, it gives you, and this is pretty cool because it's a complete new play style for the Berserker. It gives you a higher crit damage. So again, think of the wall. We have a lot of crit now, a lot of crit chance. Now we can boost our crit damage with that. And we get a life drain. So we can leech life now. It's something like we have with the spears where we get, I think, 8% or 5%, I don't know, uh, life drain. It's really cool for the challenger portals where you need, where you deal a lot of damage and need to survive a lot of uh, a very long time. So that helps you. Hopefully this one is better than that. It was called the Steel Lamprey, I think, and can be used in PvP because that would be awesome. It gives us another great survivability source. So we have our Wrath now that leeches life, and then we go into Undying Rage, with which leeches life. And this combination can be very, very brutal. So we have to see how that Hope that works. On the negative sides, we lose our movement speed. And this is one of the biggest downsides in this whole patch. What I see is everything leads to a point where we lose movement speed. And this was one of the biggest advantages of the, of the barbarian. He was fast as hell. So we need to see how this plays out. If we can adjust the th sprint as I highlighted in my recent videos, we need something for the sprint. It needs to be viable again for us in our playstyle. But currently we are lacking. So in the upcoming builds we need to see, can we really use this Wrath form in PvP? Or will we be just too slow and just dead meat for all of the CC out there? On the other hand, we have another essence. It's a ramshackle fight. And this one is interesting. I didn't see it in the first place, so thank you, Tekka, for highlighting that to me in, in, in the Discord channel. Very cool. What this essence does is it lowers your Wrath of the Berserker cooldown. It goes up like six times each, each step with 0 0.3 seconds. And for every critical hit you deal, it stacks up to six times and gives you a cooldown reduction for nearly two seconds. What it does and why it is useful, because I thought there are other shoulders for the rest, reducing the cooldown for like 18%. Why the hell do we need that? That is even, even worse. Well, it can do a trick for you. If you have three of the Wrath Essences, if you go for cooldown reduction overall, you will hit a cap. At 30% you will hit a cap. You cannot reduce the cooldown any further. And here this Essence kicks in. So this essence allows you to even reduce the cooldown time even more. So let me show you how that looks in practice. So you can see I use the Falling Thunder. It's a Wrath Essence. I just switch in a rank 10 gem. 
that you see I get the awakening bonus of 10% cooldown reduction. I do the same on the second offhand essence and for the shoulder as well. I picked a random and random gems, by the way, this is no build or anything. It's just for a showcase. I pick another 10%. So I activate it with a 30% cooldown reduction. I started with 21 seconds cooldown. And then, of course, the rest is dependent to your beneficial effect duration, how long the skills run. I run approximately 11 seconds here. And then I switch the essence with the coming storm, which gives me another 18 or 90 percentage cooldown reduction. So, as expected, it should be better now. I should have a lower cooldown. But look at this, I started again at 21. So, a higher cooldown reduction than 30% doesn't help you in any way. And this is where this essence kicks in. So let's calculate it. Okay, as in the example, in the regular, before the patch, 30 second base cooldown, we have a 30% cooldown reduction, we go one to down to 21 seconds. We have a runtime of approximately 11 seconds, which leaves us with a downtime of 10 seconds. And that is acceptable, but not really good, especially when you think at PvP. Okay, so after the patch, we start as at a 25 second base cooldown, because they reduced it. We again have our 30% cooldown reduction, going down to 70.5 seconds. Then the ramshackle kicks in with another 1.8 seconds, which leaves us after regular runtime again of 11 seconds with only a 4.7 second cooldown. And this is a lot, means it feels like four seconds to be honest. And you have a four second cooldown for your 50% crit chance wrath essence. And this is insane if you think of it. You nearly can go with a permanent 50% crit chance here. And this is quite something that is important to mention and could lead to potential cool PvP builds. So what can we do with all of that? What does it mean for our playstyle for the meta? What I think it is what what I see is that the world will change the PvE meta a lot. We have dungeons that are currently focused with a primary build. So primaries are really dealing so much damage or the primary builds that you cannot compete with the wall right now. But in the future, this will work because you can utilize with a bitter wind and the engment, you could utilize the crit from the firestorm. Even if there's no firestorm written, you get that crit. You have then the higher crit damage from the new wrath essence you have uh, the leap which gives you crit damage you have the bleed combinations of the ox and the falling thunder so you can go really into a crazy damage wall build which is valid for pve so i think we definitely will see a new pve meta for dungeons endless for all of the raids um, that will work for PvP, this is more difficult. You have to see all of the synergies you have there with the current stuff need to still work. So what I see is that you can definitely go for a wall build based on dot damage in the PvP build. You can utilize the new, the new Wrath Leech Essence with the Undying Rage to, to get into a cool survivability and then spreading your wall around. This can work, but I still see some challenges here to get your CC done and to get any kind of movement speed done. This is difficult and we need to really check out how the cooldowns of the skill, the range of the skills, how they work, and then we can start to build actually new meta for PvP. Still, it will benefit already existing meta. Like we have a tank barbarian. I uh, posted that videos, I think a month ago or something. 
that build will benefit from that a lot. With the new demo helmet, it can now go into an even longer survivability with a better shield, I guess, and now with an actual CC to land on the enemies. That is cool, and I think we will see that in the future. So really, shield-focused tank builds that actually deal damage, and this is a new cool thing. And on the other hand, we still have our primary uh, builds, and I think they will survive as well. I think the Wrath will change from the Sundered Legacy to the crit, because having such a small cooldown and such a high crit chance is definitely worth the shot. We need to see if that works out perfectly, but I'm guessing that we will say goodbye to the Sundered Legacy, uh, the Sundered Legacy, yes, um, very, very soon. Overall, I like the change. It's not what I expected, and that's always cool, because now I can think about it again, <laughs> and you too, I guess. But in the end, I think it was not the best update for the Barbarian. There were some other really necessary changes that were not done. Hopefully they are preparing something with that. We will see. Um, but overall, we really need to look if the new meta will succeed the older ones. But let's find it out together. If you have any other insights, if you see nice combinations here that I overlooked, report it to me in the comments, write to me in Discord, and we will figure it out together. Starting on Thursday, I will farm all the different uh, essences and hopefully can go into the testing very, very soon. And as soon as I find cool builds that are worth showing to you, I will reach out to you again with new videos and new guides to that cool and useful builds. So have fun testing it and see you soon. Bye guys.